Welcome to yet another mini lecture. So we're going to talk about the five reasons why this election is a single issue election. And I'm not going to bear to leave. That issue is the economy. Nothing else is at top of mind as the economy for the voters in the United States of America. Our election is one that is watched by all and I'm talking globally, and that's because we're connected, okay? So number one reason is that there is a global economic influence, okay? We have a global economic influence. We have the most reserved currency. Yes, we do. There are countries that their, their money is on par with ours. We have the most reserved currency, all right? The world is dependent upon us because of the global globalism, all right? We shape international markets. That's just a fact. So everyone has a stake in our election. Number two, G7 countries, they have been struggling. If you've been paying attention, you would have seen issues with Japan, Germany, and England, to name a few. Japan, there were issues with their currency earlier on this year. There, was, there were even talks of whether or not they were manipulating their currency. Um, Germany, well, just a few days ago, they was an announcement by Volkswagen, one of their leading companies. They've been there for over 80 years. For the first time in over 80 years, they're announcing that they're closing three plants, not one, but three in Germany. That's going to impact them greatly. That's tens of thousands of workers that will, will be displaced. However, Volkswagen is in fact working to try to minimize this, but this is happening. Then of course, England earlier on this year, they had announced that they were officially in a recession. And that matters. Why? Because there are some countries, including the United States, that have not declared that we're in a recession in the last couple of years. However, if people feel like they're in a recession, then perception is reality. So we're battling with that. Then, then number three, grocery affordability. They're afford unaffordable in every state in the United States. It has impact everyone, but specifically the working class and the middle class right? So their dollars are not going as far with respect to groceries. Well, and we must eat. So how can you tell me that in addition to all the polls that came out in the last couple of weeks that saying the economy is number one, right? Not women's issue, not immigration, not the um, democracy, but the economy is number one. All those other things I just mentioned, they're top of mind as well, but they're not the number one issue. And people are going to vote their pocketbooks. Politics is personal. Everything people do, it's really personal. And that's where they're going to go. So the cost of groceries must be addressed. And that's what people are looking to see. What will happen? Who, who will best make the groceries become affordable again. All right. Then of course, number four, micro businesses, small businesses, they're the backbone of our economy, literally the backbone and micro enterprises, small businesses, they have been feeling the impact of the inflation in the last few years. They've been feeling that. So what you saw, and I reported on this last year in my podcast, Behind the News Briefing, where I talked about a franchise uh, owner that had several Wendy's and they were closing. Well, during that research for that report, I found out that there were franchise owners, say they had three and four franchises. They were closing a few of them, leaving it down to one, but they weren't even filing bankruptcy. So you were not even seeing this on the record unless you go to the franchise and get that data as to the businesses that are closing or you go to the state to see what was closing and gather that data yourself. So that was actually happening. So they're not all going to bankruptcy court. They're just closing and staying with one. So it feels as if, you know, when um, the, the lake freezes, there's a sign that says danger. No one is paying attention to the sign that says danger. And folks go ice skating and boom, they fall into the water. It feels as if that's what's happening with our economy, where, where the, the data will come out and it will seem like things are okay. And then another data comes out and says, well, the job market is not that great. And then and something else comes out and says, well, no, the labor market is strong. And it, it just seems not congruent. It just seems all over the place. And folks just don't know what to do because it's all about forecasting. It's not about the now. We're already in it. 
It's about forecasting. At this time, if you have not yet followed my channel, make sure you subscribe because there'll be many more mini lectures talking about leadership and business and entrepreneurship. That's the space that I'm in. And that is what I want to impact upon you. That self-reliance leadership is so important because leadership begins with you. The decision you make today will affect you and everyone that you impact later. So it is extremely important that you understand about leading yourself well so you can lead others to excellence. This matters. The other thing is if you want to stay in contact with me, you actually can download download my business card directly to your phone. It's businesscard.walkingmanktheory.com. The link is in the in the description below. Businesscard.walkingmanktheory.com. You'll be able to text me and ask me a question. You can request a video answer um, if that's what, what you desire. There are many other ways you can book an advisory call. So there are many other ways to get in contact uh, with me. So just have it in the palm of your hand. So if something happens to any one of these platforms, we are staying in connect, right? So that's businesscard.walkingbanktheory.com. All right, let's go to number five. Number five is the milk test. Yeah, the price of milk. I believe that this is an indicator of where people are, where ordinary folks are. Can they afford milk? Yes, milk. Whether it is cow's milk or you're like me and you you drink plant-based milk, where I drink whether it's soy or almond or cashew, it doesn't matter. It says plant-based, I'm willing to try it. Well, here's what's, what happens with me. I love to go to Publix because you can do buy one, get one. So if they have a sale on buy one, get one, I'm grabbing that milk. I'm not, I don't even have allegiance to a brand anymore. I just have allegiance to getting the milk I want. And if they don't have a sale, then I go to Walmart because Walmart will always have the plant-based milk a little bit less expensive than Publix. However, if you want some of the high quality brand of plant-based milk, well, that's at Publix. So I like shopping there and I love uh, getting the milk from them, but that is what I do. It's all about the price of milk. That's literally milk economics. Yep, not in the true sense as issued by the United States Department of Agriculture, but just based on the ordinary average citizen. It's about milk economics. And those are the five reasons why this election is a single issue election in how people are voting. And that issue is the economy. So I am Elisa Marie Fid. Don't forget to subscribe, share this information with your family and friends. And let's work on 2025 being a great year with America being the greatest country on earth. Because no matter who wins, we as a country, we are going to get through it. And our economy, we are going to make sure that we have a strong economy again. So take care. Roar it you soon.